What's up guys, it's Nimon I'm back here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing my WWE Stomping Grounds review Stomping Grounds is in Tacoma, Washington. This is the first ever Stomping Grounds pay-per-view and it was on June 23rd, 2019 and they had some pretty good matches. They only had eight matches on the card so each match had a lot of time to do what they um to tell a story in the match and have an epic match so first we had becky lynch against lacey evans for the raw tag team championships i mean cha championships i mean championship um and this was um, Lacey Evans' rematch from Money in the Bank. Um, Lacey Evans, I thought she was going to win a couple times in this match. But then Becky Lynch got her in the disarmor. And Lacey Evans tapped out in like under a second. That was pretty fast. A pretty fast tap out. So Becky Lynch did end up retaining her women's championship. Next up, we had the New Day against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Um, this match was pretty kind of one-sided at the beginning because, as we've seen, um, Biggie got attacked by Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and then Kevin Owens and Sami were just beating up Xavier Woods in the ring. But then I thought the New Day was kind of gonna win because the New Oh. Speaking of New Day, they're right there. Um, because the New Day was kind of fighting back against um Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. But then Kevin and Sami did end up picking the um picking up the win. Um um Kevin Owens did a surprise move. He did the stunner to pick up the win in this match. We haven't seen the stunner in a very long time, but I guess. Kevin Owens is bringing it back for his finishing move. Next up, we had Ricochet against Joe, 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 Samoa Joe for the United States Championship. This match was a pretty good match. Um, I'm really, I was really glad to see Ricochet finally get a championship opportunity on the main roster, besides the tag team, of course. Um, but I did not know where this was gonna go because. I was picking um, Samoa Joe to win, but also I was picking Ricochet to win, so it was kind of a I do not know who to pick, but I'm glad that Ricochet finally got his first singles title on the main roster, and I would love to see where he's going to go with it. Maybe he'll face AJ Styles now after their um, phenomenal match, no pun intended, phenomenal match on Monday Night Raw yesterday, um, but... I would like to see Ricochet go into the future with his tight um with his title run. Next up we've seen Heavy Machinery against Daniel Bryan and Rowan for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Um this was a pretty long match. I didn't think this match was going to last that um as long as it did, but we got to see what Heavy Machinery can do in the ring and they were so close to winning, but Daniel Bryan and Rowan did end up retaining their championship with a kind of little roll up over um Tucker, um and that was a pretty like surprising finish to the match and maybe we'll get to see them face off again in the near future. Next up, we've seen Alexa Bliss with Nikki Cross against Bailey for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Um this was a pretty good match. Um we've seen Alexa Bliss and Bailey go off um before in the past for the Raw Women's Championship, but there didn't have really good booking um in that storyline, but now we get to see a rerun of this storyline. Um and Alexa Bliss could have won if Nikki Cross didn't get into the ring. But I feel like Nikki Cross was just kind of going after Bailey after Bailey took her out. Even though Nikki Cross threw herself in front of Alexa Bliss to take that suicide dive. But as we've seen, Bailey did end up picking the win via Bailey to Belly. 
and Bailey is still the number um number one contender. It's still the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Next up, we've seen Drew McIntyre with Shane McMahon against Roman Reigns in a WrestleMania rematch. Um, this match was kind of, again, longer than I expected. I thought it was going to be a short match like it was at WrestleMania, and I thought Shane was going to interfere, even though he kind of did. Um, but Shane McMahon, um, it was no, um, kind of, what do you call it? There was no kind of strain on Roman Reigns as Roman Reigns did the, the did end up picking the victory over um, Drew McIntyre with a spear, and that is two Drew I'm um, true two Drew um, two Roman zero McIntyre. Next up, we've seen Dolph Ziggler Dolph Ziggler against Kofi Kingston of the New Day in a steel cage match for the WWE Championship. This match was going back and forth. You cannot believe how many times I was telling Dolph, just get out of the ring, just get out of the ring, hurry up, go through the door. But he was just crawling that whole time. I'm like, you can't get up and just walk through that um, ropes. But it was an amazing finish during the match because Dolph Ziggler, we seen him crawling to the... Um, to the steel um, door, and we were saying, oh my god, is Dolph gonna win? Dolph gonna win? And then Kofi, Superman, um, Superman just jumps through the ropes and lands on the ground, um, lands both feet on the ground, and he retains his WWE Championship with luck. But I just don't think that um, Dolph and Kofi are done. I do not know where they're going with it, but as we've seen yesterday, that Samoa Joe might be getting an opportunity. So I would love to see where that's going to go in the future. Next up, we've seen our main event of the night. Seth Rollins against um, Baron Corbin for the Universal Championship. And Baron Corbin gets the pick who his um, who the referee is going to be to this match. And everybody was thinking, is it going to be Brock? Is it going to be Heyman? Who is it going to be? And it turns out to be... Ah, 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 Lacey Evans into the um, referee spot. I was not expecting Lacey Evans. But as it got to... Um, during this match, I, it kind of made sense. Because Lacey Evans is having a feud with Becky Lynch. And they faced off earlier in the night. And now Baron Corbin and Seth Rollins are facing off. And Becky Lynch is Seth Rollins's. Um, girlfriend. So, this kind of did make sense. And as we've seen, Lacey Evans kept getting involved. Then Becky Lynch came out and beat up Lacey Evans. And then we've seen John Cone, who was, um, who was the, um, referee at Super Showdown, who cost Baron Corbin the match, even though Baron Corbin kind of cost himself the match. Um, but as we've seen, Seth Rollins did end up regaining his balance and he um and then he super kicked Baron and then he curb stomped Baron right in the ring and as we've seen Seth Rollins did end up retaining his Universal Championship. This pay per view was actually pretty good. I know people were kind of saying it was going to be the worst pay per view of the year. It wasn't that it, it wasn't going to be that good, but I really like this pay per view. And I don't know about you guys, but hopefully you guys liked it as much as I did. Well, leave your comments down in the, um, leave your comments, leave your comments down in the comments section below. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, there will be two, maybe two or one new video this week. Maybe it's going to be my top 10 superstars of the week. Or it's going to be news and rumors. I do not know which one to do. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do one. But... Like I was saying, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, champs.